Hi guys, today we are going to add some color to our paintbrush pictures. Remember, we want to use analogous colors, so three colors in a row on the color wheel. Your choices for materials could be watercolor paint, markers, or regular coloring supplies like crayons or colored pencils. Before we get into coloring though, let's add some more paint blotches around on the paper just to make it a little bit more interesting. And I am gonna trace those with some Sharpie as well. Some highlights. All right. Now the first one I'm gonna show you is crayon. And you just kind of choose a little area that you won't think would look like a blotch of paint on your brush. Maybe some splotches on the handle and around in the background. Just coloring like normal. The second is just coloring like normal with marker. So I'm choosing red, orange, and yellow for my colors. Those are three in a row. So just coloring like normal and maybe some more paint blotches in the background. Now, if you used anything other than a Sharpie to trace, then I would not use a, one of these water techniques. If you used Sharpie to trace, then you can use a marker on a piece of plastic with some extra water brush uh, worked in with your paintbrush and you can turn it into um, almost like a makeshift watercolor paint. So you can just work back and forth on that piece of plastic. In my case, I was using a plastic sandwich bag that you can use a piece of plastic or foil or uh, parchment paper. And then of course, the last option is just regular watercolor paint. So I'm just adding some water into my paint first, and then painting like normal. Now the fun thing with using real paint, real watercolor paint is you've got enough material or enough medium there that you can kind of splash it. So if you just load up your brush and then tap your brush down onto your paper, it kind of splatters and splashes, which is a little bit of a fun effect. Just make sure you clean up when you're finished. I'm gonna paint the last brush here. 